solutions to the exercises. I guess first I want to multiply by 2. And why do I want to do that? So the first thing, I subtract the 2y from both sides. And then I want to multiply, oh, this equation by 2 in order to get 6x and 2y. So you have minus 2y and plus 2y, which is equal to, what did I have on this side? There's a 6 missing here. Add both sides. And uh, you are supposed to get, after you solve, x is equal to 2, and then y is equal to 9. Or, in the next example, I multiply by 2 in order to turn the negative 3 into a negative 6. And negative 6y plus y gets eliminated. And we come up with x, which is 1. We come up with uh, x, which is equal to 1. Now, what is y? Why don't have y? Well, I need to go back into one of the original equations and solve for y. Or I can do it over here. If x is equal to 1, I subtract 5 from both sides, gives me 48. Divide by uh, 6, 48 over 6 is 8. So it looks like y is equal to 8. Use elimination again. Subtract 18y from both sides. Multiply, multiply uh, this equation by negative 3. You get negative 15 plus 18y and the plus 18. And when you add them, you get the 0 equals a non-zero number. No solution. Or similarly over here, when you add the equations after you multiply by negative 3, you are going to get 0 equals 0. So there are infinitely many solutions here. Like if y is a, x is 1 over 5 times the quantity 6a minus 6. I could have factored out the 6. That's it.